This time in two weeks, we are going to be back in Sherwood Forest at Electric Forest and I'm so freaking excited. Welcome back to my channel. For those that don't know me, I am Aid. I'm a music festival content creator. I have a blog called vibewithaid.com for all your tips and tricks and festival needs. Electric Forest is here, basically. Oh my God, you guys, this just got so real. The app came out, the schedule is out, the map is out. Like, I'm ready. <laughs> I wanted to get this video up as soon as possible to help you guys start planning your Electric Forest uh, experience, whatever you call it, whatever you want to call it. This is not a video about set times. <laughs> It's coming. I have some details I need to finalize when it comes to set times, the meetup, some other details, a little surprise, surprise. That is the reason why I am not doing a schedule set time video just yet. It's coming. Be patient with me. I promise you it's coming. For this video, I am just as excited to give you guys because I am giving you guys the top 15 things to do at Electric Forest, an Electric Forest bucket list, if you will. Not to say that your experience will suck if you don't do these things, but I'm saying it's all about the magic of the forest. I think it's what differentiates Electric Forest as a festival compared to other festivals. Just to give you guys some things to do. If you are stressed out about having enough time to do things like I was my first year, don't worry, it'll all be okay gonna be fine. <laughs> I think Electric Forest is such an easy and chill laid back festival that even over the span of four days, you will find time to do everything. Even when I was looking at my schedule, I have some serious gaps of time where I don't have anyone to see. And I'm really excited about that because that means I get to go explore. I get to go wander, whatever. And I think the gates open at noon or one. Someone will correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the gates open around noon or one. And so you have a good chunk of time before anyone you really need to see. So there will be time for everything and anything that you guys want to do. So let's get into the top 15 things to do at Electric Forest. Number one, this is probably the tip that I tell everyone I meet when they're going to forest. This is like my number one tip I always tell people. Like fun tip, not like the general like, oh, you need to drink water, you need to wear comfy shoes. Like this is just my general tip to one, walk the forest during the day, either by yourself, with a group, whatever. Just take some time, walk through the forest, get your lay of the land. And not just the stages and I mean like the actual forest part and you'll get what I mean um, if you've never been the actual forest part just walk through it during the day and then it walk through it at night because it becomes a whole nother ball game at nighttime. <laughs> Everything just lights up and it's so beautiful. It's so fun. And there's just so many like little treasures and characters and stuff that you'll come upon during the day. And then at night, it'll be different. There are so many times where like I would walk a different route and then I'd run into like a different art structure or I'd walk a different route and come across like some interactive thing. There's just like so many things in the forest that you you never know what you're gonna find. So I recommend walking through it either the first day, the second day, whatever, walking through it during the day and then walking through it during nighttime when you have some free time to do this. Last year, I didn't really do this enough i'd say like at nighttime i really didn't explore enough because i felt like i was going to set after set after set but during the daytime like i did this on the very last day because it was my first year so i was overwhelmed if you could not tell that it's just a lot your first year so i just walked the whole forest during the day on the last day because i was like well this is our last chance to like be here i want to like take full advantage of it i walked the entire thing on the last day but this year is gonna be different because I'm gonna have Ryan with me. So he's very laid back, very go with the flow. So I'm just gonna take him everywhere with me. <laughs> and we're just gonna see what we can find this year in the forest. And I'm really excited about that. See an artist you've never heard of. So this is different from seeing an artist you've never seen before. I would always recommend seeing an artist you've never heard of until you saw the lineup or even day of you're looking at your schedule. And like, I have no idea who this person is. Just go see them. Like you just never know and they might end up being like your favorite artist or something like that. I always recommend to check out names you don't know just to branch out and see
see what's new. In my electric forest stages video, I talked about how much I love the forest stage and it's not happening this year, it's gone. I think it was replaced by the honeycomb stage. I'm not sure why, if anyone has some inside scoop as to why that is, feel free to comment that down below. But when I look at that honeycomb stage, like I don't recognize any name. And my goal is always to go see at least one set at every stage. I'm definitely gonna go check out that new stage because I wanna see what this new stage design is. And then I don't know anyone on that on that lineup. So I'll make sure that whoever I'm seeing, I've never seen before or never heard of before. And another thing that I always do is I always pick the most outrageous name <laughs> that I don't know. And I'll go check that out. Like at ACL one year, I went and saw Rainbow Kitten Surprise. I had no idea who they were and I saw them and it was, they were actually really good. I was really surprised by it. Like I didn't know whether to take it seriously or not, but they were actually like really good. Here's a little pro tip for you. Watch someone get married at the chapel. So there are real weddings that happen. There are fake weddings that happen. Just go and be a part of the experience. Peyton and I were supposed to go get see someone get married last year and we didn't. I don't remember. It was this couple that they were both, um, gloves oh they were so cute and they had their family there and i think they like had gotten engaged at the previous forest so forest 2017 and then they were actually getting married at forest like okay so cute definitely go check out and when you see the chapel you'll know because there's usually tons of characters trying to rope you in to it or like to come into the chapel and stuff like that but go check it out it's always a good time in there number four i talked about this but see at least one set at each of the stages there are so many stages that i talked about in my electric forest video and they might have updated stage designs this year or something like that but i always would like to go to each stage just to get a different feel and vibe of that stage and that artist and everything and i feel like the stage Stages at Forest do a really good job at complimenting the artist playing, so I'm definitely excited. Look at your schedule, plan out, and you have some free time, go to a stage you've never been before and you won't regret it. Watch someone play piano. <laughs> come across in the forest either during the day or at night time but people are so talented <laughs> like people can just walk up to a piano and just start playing and that just like is amazing to me i play piano since i was like six years old it's just like it's hard to practice and i stopped playing in college for a little bit anyone that can just walk up to a piano and just has a song memorized and can play it i'm just in awe of but you'll know the spot when you come across it so hang out there there's some really nice seating around it and just enjoy number seven bring something for the giving tree and then also take something from the giving tree so don't be that person that just takes something from the giving tree and not give anything to it and and this is a subscriber pointed this out to me there's actually two giving trees there's an unofficial giving tree that you'll see in between tripoli and ranch arena and then there's an actual giving tree inside the forest i saw the first giving tree i walked past it every day i didn't find the actual giving tree until the last day of forest <laughs> So yeah, that's just something that happened. So bring something and take something so you have a little memory with you. Number eight, leave a note or a gift in the fairy house. So last year, if you watched the vlogs on day four, I looked in a fairy house and I got this little canvas and it had a little note in it. Let me see if I can, I don't even remember what this note said. Ooh. Oh, it was a bunch of quotes. So it was just some quotes in there for inspiration. I really should put this somewhere. I'm gonna put this somewhere. This is a good reminder. <laughs> but yeah, I got like a little canvas from it. So I don't know what I'm contributing to any giving trees just yet, but I need to like look around and see if I have anything or can make something like this. This is so cute. Like, 
I could do a little vibe with aid canvas or something or an EF canvas. I can get crafty. I'm a crafty girl. So yeah, bring something for the giving tree or um, bring stuff for the fairy houses. And if you're like, what are these fairy houses? You'll know when you see them. <laughs> They're basically like little tiny houses at the bottom of the trees. So you just have to be a little observant to find them. Participate in the scavenger hunt. There's like, I wanna say there's two scavenger hunts that go on and someone can correct me if I'm wrong. But there's a scavenger hunt that you can start in the hangar. You go in the hangar, you talk with the characters, the workers, and they direct you in the right direction to start the scavenger hunt. What it unlocks is some type um, you can go into some speakeasy or something like that or other secret parts of the forest. So there's like a scavenger hunt that you can do and be a part of. I just so overwhelmed last year, then Peyton and I were like, no. And then there was another scavenger hunt that Peyton and I came across that was like, or maybe it was a puzzle. I don't know what it was. It was like this big book that unlocked something, like a little present or something. And Peyton and I just didn't have the patience to try and solve it. But there was like this book scavenger hunt with like clues and stuff. I don't know, but I put that as a bucket list item. Maybe because I have some free time and gaps and stuff, I'll actually participate in the scavenger hunt this year to be determined. <laughs> Another thing that I didn't know about last year was that there's this trading post. I probably passed a across this trading post I was in the forest like 20 times, like going to and from sets or whatever. And it just looked like a bar to me. I didn't think that it was an actual trading post. Like I just thought people got drinks from it. I'm dumb. You can trade something and get something cool. There's like rules to it where it's like no plastic or no made in China. So you can't just like randomly have something to like trade. It has to be something I guess unique handmade, can't be candy because that's plastic. So you can get creative with it and see. I saw some posts on Reddit of people getting some really cool things. Like they traded like a guitar pick for like something else, I don't know. Could be cool. So you can try your best and see if you can trade anything and get something cool out of it. Uh, number 11, do yoga. So there is yoga in the morning at Tripoli. I didn't do yoga last year because it was so hot that I was like, I don't want to be in the sun. Okay, so there's yoga at noon, 1 15, and then the first on Friday, and then the first set starts at two o'clock. So the first set starts at 2.30 on Thursday. I wonder if it says on the app when. Not seeing about anything when gates open. Someone comment down below when the gates open. Tripoli is inside the gates, so you can technically go through the gates to do yoga. And then I think after that, then you have to like leave and then you can go back in once gates open. So I'm gonna look into it a little bit more and see. Do yoga, get a little stretch on, get your zen on before you do all the festival stuff. If the weather is nice, I will probably be doing yoga because your girl is gonna need it. Number 12, attend a session at the Brainery. So in the Main Street GA campgrounds, there's the Brainery, which has a ton of sessions that you can go to. It's kind of like nice as like, if you're not just hanging out at the campground, waiting to go into the gates and to get ready and everything like that. You can go to the Brainery and see some really cool sessions. I saw one on like aromatherapy, there's stuff on meditating. And I really like this component of Electric Forest because I think it bridges the gap between like transformational festivals and mainstream festivals that you are learning more about yourself in the world and stuff like that, that I think differentiates it from other festivals. So I'm hoping to attend some more sessions. I know even some artists like had a session, like you could, there was like a Q and A with Hero Bus, with Jaws, stuff like that. And you can even meet them. So my camera died. Anyway, where was I? Yeah, attend a session at the Brainery cause learn something new about yourself and the world and whatnot. Number 13, attend an RV after party. So the infamous RV after parties, the one where I thought Daft Punk had been reunited on day four of Electric Four. Forest. Yep, that was at an RV party. After this festival winds down and everything, go to the RV section of the campgrounds and there'll be some really cool after parties going on. Like they are set up, like they have production to go with this. Like it's pretty insane. I did see one lineup of like Subtronics is gonna have an after party. Sasha Robotti is gonna have an after party set. Some people will tweet them out. There's like the main, I think, RV kind of groups that will post out like a flyer or something like that 
Otherwise, just go and you never know. I know weekend one last year, there was like Miha back-to-back, -back, Jaws back-to-back, -back, whoever. It was like a huge back-to-back. -back. Maybe Louis the Child was in there. I don't really remember, but that was weekend one and I was weekend two. But I heard about that and I was like, whoa, that's so dope. And I thought Daft Punk reunited weekend two. So <laughs> you just never know. Uh, number 14, spend time in the hangar. This is the one thing I didn't do, but there was like so many cool little activities in there that I just missed out on and didn't do. But you know, you could do that, spend some time there. See, and that's where you will also come across like the scavenger hunt. I think there's a tattoo shop in there. There's just like a bunch of random things in there. So definitely explore that area a little bit more. And number 15, find Carl. If you know, you know. <laughs> well, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and are getting so, so excited for Electric Forest like I am. I seriously cannot wait and I'm so excited to meet you guys. As always, I wrote a blog post and that will be linked down below in the description. So definitely check that out. I will hopefully have updates on meetup, set times, all that stuff as soon as possible, but I am going to Second Sky. So if any of you are going to Second Sky on Saturday, I will see you there. I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to vibe with me. Join the little vibe tribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Tell me more videos you want to see in the comments. If you're going to Electric Forest, all that good stuff. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.